Everyone, today Jesus is anointed. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? And he said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept a common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She brought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor with you, but you won't always have me. So... I hear a lot sometimes of people that have Judas attitude, and it's not necessarily as bad as him and and what he intended, right? The don't don't do this, give it to the poor because he just wanted to steal the money. But this is a common response when people do something of like, well, why didn't they just give that money to the poor? Now, obviously, that is a concern. We want to consider the needs of those who are most affected by poverty. And yet sometimes that is an excuse and it doesn't look at what's really going on in the situation. Now, you can take what Jesus says here in the wrong way and say, like, well, yeah, the poor are always there, so why bother doing anything for them? That's not what he's doing. He's actually quoting from Deuteronomy and a whole passage. It's actually about why you should care for the poor. What Jesus, I think, recognizes is that there is something unique in this. He's not against uh, helping those in need. He's recognizing what is needed in this moment. He's seeing that what Mary did here was a true gift from her heart, a way of showing thanks for what she did for their family. And as he said, it's even pointing forward to his own death and burial. And so we always, I think, have this tension that whatever resources we have, we want to use them in the way that does the most good. And sometimes that is to help the poor but sometimes that is to honor Christ. That isn't a bad thing. Now, it's easy to look at, you know, like televangelists who are raking in millions of dollars, not really to honor Christ, like they say, but so they can get a private jet or another one. Right? We recognize what's wrong with that. And yet, at the same time, there is something to using what we have to, to show our gratitude for the God who has given us so much. I don't know what that looks like for you. It's probably not going to be expensive perfume. But whatever you have, what can you use to show God how grateful you are? Sometimes the best thing to do is to help those who are most in need, that we love God by loving others. But whatever that looks like, can you use what you have not to make yourself look better, but for the sake of others?